Hey guys, welcome to another episode of the Oak Mountain ACOTS. It's Jason here. Well, we've got an unseasonably warm day here at the end of October in Oak Mountain. We are probably mid 20 degrees Celsius temperatures. It's t-shirt weather. And uh, lucky for us, we've got some maintenance that we need to do to get things winterized here. So a job that I've been putting off is pressure washing this crane and hydraulic timber trailer and specifically the drives on it. We've had a, a really wet year here. Um, our roads are muddy. We've never been able to work without mud through the summer. And this is packed full, obviously. And I want to get that all pressure washed out. And you can hear the pressure washer running behind me because I've, uh, I've got a young fella working for me here today that's going to help me out. But uh, we've got to get this cleaned out so that when the cold temperatures hit, there's no danger of doing any damage to hydraulic seals or anything in there. Arguably, the damage is probably already done. Anyway, we've got some other odd jobs that we're going to be doing. We've got some deer footage from uh, one of the blinds this week that we're going to show you at the end of this video. So, uh, stick around. I'm hunting for my chainsaw. I gotta hit the woods. Sure, I'm over 50, but I still got the goods. Oak Mountain grows great timber. Hey guys, so we've got Lanson doing some pressure washing for us. The truck has been undercoated recently and uh, there was a lot of overspray, so I'm going to get him to give that a wash. And then I might even have to uh, wash that up by hand to get that overspray off. We'll see what we end up doing there. But I thought while he was working on some of that equipment, I would pick up some of these softwood logs that we've been wrangling up here over time and take them down and put them through the Hack Pilke firewood processor. I need just a little bit more wood in the sugar shack to have a full wood box. I was going to get some ash and put it in there, but uh, I think we're going to try some of these. They're probably not much good for 2x4s anyway, so uh, we're going to run some of these through the firewood processor and, and see what kind of wood they produce.
Okay guys, one thing to note is off those few softwood logs, look at all the waste that came into the bucket. So dry softwood logs, just like dry hardwood, uh, there is a lot of debris that comes off of that wood. Okay, Lanson's gonna catch up to me. He's got the truck done. He's onto the side to side, the Kubota X1100C. I'm gonna put him on the trailer next, and while he's doing that, I've gotta clean up all of the uh, sawdust and debris from out around this Hacky Toke firewood processor so that when he gets in here with the water, he's just kinda cleaning up with that for the winter. Anyway, I gotta get going. Okay, I don't know how the sound quality has been on the video so far. Apparently it's not getting any better. So we got our wood box filled up. That's a uh, nice looking wood really. It's going to burn fast compared to hardwood, but uh, we got the box filled. That was a goal. And uh, now I'm going to use the bucket of the backhoe to get all of that uh, debris out from underneath the firewood table itself. And Lanson's going to be heading over there pretty quickly with pressure washer, so I got to keep at it. Okay guys, I got some good news, and I got some bad news. The good news is, I stayed ahead of Lanson, and we got all of these uh, bogey wheels or drives or whatever you want to call them, Robson drives maybe they're called, we got those all cleaned out, and we're ready for winter. This trailer's not steam cleaned, but it's cleaner. The Hacky Pilke firewood processor and the pad is cleaner and good enough for me to put away for the winter. The bad news is Lanson got called onto the potato harvester to go to work and I had to take over the pressure washing. That's not very good. Anyway, we've got a little bit more cleanup to do here and uh, put some equipment away. So like we say guys, if you like our videos and you want to see more of them, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, share our videos with your friends and family and help us grow our channel. And come on back and check on us often because you never know what the Oak Mountain Nacots will be up to next. We'll see you in the next one guys. I'm hunting for my chainsaw, I gotta hit the woods. Sure, I'm over 50, but I still got the goods. Oak Mountain grows great timber, my firewood's the best. As long as I stay limber.